You're listening to the podcast live with the Nightly Toker. What's up, guys? This is a bonus episode of the Popcast. It's going to be a shorter one. You know, just figured, hey, you know what? I felt like podcasting tonight. I just felt like jumping on the mic, getting a little lifted, and seeing where this episode goes. It's July 11th, currently 10.34 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm your host, The Nightly Toker. And, of course, I'm here joined by my case of goodies, and some delicious Gorilla Glue, some tasty Platinum Bubba Kush, and of course, the guest of honor, our good friend, Coma Kush Shatter. Oh, it's such a joy and such a pleasure to have you all on the show. Wow, they're, they're a little quiet, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright guys, so you know what, I'm just gonna kind of jump into this, uh, you know, see where it goes. I've taken a few uh, decent little rips off the uh, the Atmos Bolt Plus Pro 2 uh, with the Concentrates Chamber for the Shatter. Uh, unfortunately, I did kill the mic. It's shifting around on this headset with the mic on the face because the cord is on my foot. All right. So I did kill one of these Concentrates, uh, the, one of the chambers, last night, uh, you know, which is kind of sad. Not super thrilled about it. I guess it's not really made... I don't know. It's not made the greatest. <sighs> so it was It was a sad moment. It really was. It was a sad moment. It just didn't work. But actually, oh, what was it? Last night? The other night? Last night, I think, I was on Twitter. And let's see if I can find it now here. But uh, there is this super, super sweet looking... Uh, vape pen for concentrates that I came across from these guys. Um, let's see if I can find my original post. Where did I go? I don't know. All right. Uh, yeah, Dr. Dabber. These guys got some pretty stellar freaking uh, gear. Some pens, like a variety of different kinds of pens and just different things. Mainly vaporizers. But it looks more or less like it's... For the most part, all for concentrates. I think some of them are maybe dry herb. I'm not 100% sure, but mainly concentrates. But they got this one here. It's called the Ghost Vaporizer Kit. Now, this thing looks pretty sweet. And it's not a stupid, crazy price. It's $69.95, I think American, I'm guessing. But uh, it's it's this fat pen. It's got this sweet-looking tip on it. It comes with a different... uh, what does it come with? What does it come with? Let me see. Let me see. The kit comes with everything you need to get started, including USB charger, silicone storage ball, loading tool, and extra replacement titanium atomizer. That is pretty sweet. Because your atomizers do get fucked after a while. So this sucker comes with everything you need. Even the silicone uh, ball thing, which is, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a, an oil cap, right? But it's round. It actually looks like the Death Star. <laughs> it's it's blue, but it looks like the Death Star. It's kind of comical. But yeah, I'm I'm I keep looking at this freaking pen. If I had seventy bucks, mind you, of course it's going to be a little bit more in Canadian funds. But if I had the cash right now, I, would, I think I would definitely order this because it does look pretty sweet looking, and I think it would just deliver way better. And I think I'd, I'd get more of the taste from this shatter. If I used a system that worked just a little bit better. Now, the Atmos pen, of course, it's doing the job. The taste is a little, still a little rough. 
Um, just because the heating thing in this thing, there's no real control. It, it does a high heat really fast, and then, you know, you get issues with that. So it's not the most efficient way, but you know what? It's the only way I have because the whole Jerry Rig pen from a few days ago, that just, it wasn't working. It just didn't work very good. And it really tasted like a burnt sock. This tastes not like a burnt sock. It's not delicious. It's not super tasty. After a while, you don't even notice it, honestly. And I know that's not how the shatter actually tastes. It's just because of my heating in the pen. So I'd love to get something better. And this uh, this uh, ghost pen, or this ghost vaporizer kit, sorry, uh, from Dr. Dabber. It looks super, super sweet. I'm definitely going to kind of start dropping hints to the wife. Like, hey, you know what? Like, uh, if you love me. Just, just saying. I'm just throwing it out there. But if... If you love me, you know, well, not even if you love me. I know she loves me. But if she wants to make me super happy, then, you know, you know, you know, you know, just, just saying there, dear. Come on, help me out, help me out. But yeah, they've got, like, check them out. I think, what is their website called? DrDabber.com. Super easy. they got so many cool little things. Like you can get these freaking battery things. Like you can you can get your dab assembly, your rig assembly, basically that hooks on. Uh, with basically the nail hooks into like a pen kind of thing. It's like a it's it. You gotta see it to believe it. But uh, go check it out. Go check out their stuff. I, it's really hard for me to explain because, like I said, I don't know the stuff super well, um, and I don't know the official terms for you know different things. Because like I'm really I'm really new to the whole dab shatter 710 lifestyle i've always just been flower but i am trying to branch out and expand my horizons and just see where it goes but yeah check these guys out drdabber.com some super cool stuff but yeah if you've ever used one of these uh, ghost vaporizers let me know that's gonna be maybe our question for the night and although this is a bonus episode, we're still going to throw out a question. Is, do you use a vaporizer pen? Or do you use a full rig for your dabs? Right? I would sooner use a pen. Control a little bit more, a little less messy. I'm just, I like pens. I like I like the pens. I don't really want a whole lot of glass. Mind you, if I had it, I would probably use a glass rig. Uh, something pretty slick looking, but you know what? Like I said, I don't. So I've always just been kind of a pen guy. I love pens. Because <sighs> they're so discreet. It's kind of hard to <laughs> stash a whole rig if somebody comes in, right? With a pen, and that's the cool thing about this ghost uh, vaporizer is that it's super discreet. You could walk around with it, quickly stash it, whatever you need to do. All right, so you know what? We're going to look inside of this... Uh, Concentrate chamber and get it glowing here. Uh, the last one, the freaking tube did just burn right off. Basically, there's too much heat. Now, there's still quite a bit down there in the bottom, but uh, it's really hard because you can't control the temperature in these things, right? It just gets low heat to a super hot heat, basically, with the stupid coils in there. And I, I say stupid coils, but you know what? I shouldn't rag on it too much because it is working. The taste is not super awesome, but it still delivers the same high. But unfortunately, there is a bit of that kind of like a burnt rubber taste, which comes... And when I was reading about it, because I was like... Some people were saying, oh, because it wasn't flushed properly, and wasn't done this, or sulfur, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, you know what? I don't think that's the problem. And here's why. Because this came from our good friends over at BudZone.ca. Now, they've got delicious, delicious products. Top of the line stuff. So, I know they're not going to sell a product that wasn't properly taken care of. So, they're just not. So, then I did some more reading, and yeah, it turns out it's the pen. It's the pen. <sighs> All over again. I did a lot of online research to determine what type. Okay, you know what? Just quickly looking over some of these reviews and you know what everybody's review of this uh ghost vaporizer Whew. sweet 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 
Uh, you know what? I haven't seen a bad review of this thing. Very good, very good. So you know what? That is on my wish list. It is definitely on the wish list because I, I want it so bad. I want it so badly. One day. One day we'll get it. It's not super expensive, but, you know, like I've always said in the past, when you have a family and kids, unfortunately, you got to jump around and shift your monies, and your stuff, what you want, gets put to the side. Their stuff comes first. So, you know. (sighs) All right. I... Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so somebody just, I think it was Fatty's Premium Papers on Instagram, just followed us under a new account. I'm guessing it's them. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, it's called The Elevated Lifestyle, po- Lifestyle not Stale. So, let's start over. Rewind. The Elevated Lifestyle Podcast. The What Are You Doing and Space Bucket Growing with Dresky official Instagram sponsored by Mostly Safe 8. Ooh, sweet. You know what? I'm definitely going to have to check them out. Uh, unfortunately, I can't play it while I'm broadcasting myself because it will just stop the broadcast, and we don't want that. So we'll definitely check it out um, very, very soon, later tonight, and see... Where it goes, maybe not, maybe it's not them, I don't know, but we'll definitely check it out, so, alright, you know, I'm thinking maybe I should add a bigger, fatter dab in this thing, because there's still some down there, but uh, this it's got this weird mesh green type thing, it's very soft, it's kind of weird, I don't know how to explain it, it's bizarre though and I just don't want to burn that I feel like I should just drop a big fat piece in there and go to town you know I I don't have a whole lot left like I still have a decent amount but it's not a huge amount now of course I did place my own personal order over at budzone.ca because you know what I wanted to get some more of this awesome shatter and uh, so I ordered some two grams of uh, the Comica Shatter from Bud Zone Canada. That's a Bud Zone dose here. And then I got, I think it's some purple candy, uh, an eighth of purple candy coming. And that was actually one of the first sativas that I've seen them carry. Because they seem to have a lot more indicas, which is cool. I like indicas. Um, but, uh, I, I, you know, I, I do like sativas for daytime use. Mind you, I've never come across any strain, any strain. Oh, there we go. We're losing the mic again. But I've never come across any strain that actually made me want to sleep. Whereas some people are just like, oh my god, knock me right out. I've never gotten there. I've never gotten that at all from anything. But it still kind of slows me down, makes me less motivated, right? So to find a nice, juicy sativa was super cool. So it will be nice when that order comes in so I can hit up that delicious looking flower and of course have another two grams Ooh, of coma kush a shatter now this thursday night i'm going to be broadcasting live with the bean at um probably 8 30 we're gonna say 8 30 yeah no maybe 8 8 p.m no you know what we'll be safe <laughs> 8 p.m pacific standard time Thursday, that'll be what? 13th. The 13th of July. We're going to be hitting some uh, crazy, crazy dabs into the bong rips of uh, probably some pink kush. We'll let him supply the pink. <laughs> or not pink, uh, the platinum bubba kush. Fuck. All right, so we'll let Bean supply the platinum bubba kush. I'll supply the shatter. We're going to get super lifted, so make sure you check out that ep- live episode this Thursday coming up at 8 p.m. Pacific time. Of course, the day of, I will be posting all freaking day about it. We're going to do a challenge. I'm going to look for a good challenge. I'm going to start searching and Googling and YouTubing and look for a fucking awesome epic challenge that we're going to try to attempt. If you have a good one, 